Hello students, in this video, we will see how to use the project template to write your project report. So you will all be shared with a project template version 2.0.zip file and which when unzipped, you will find a folder named as version 2.0. Now inside this folder, you will find a file named as main.tech file. But before opening this file though, Let's review the content structure under this particular folder. Here, as you could see, directories for each chapters and along with other directories here. As you might have guessed, the directories which are labeled as chapters is meant to keep the contents and the figures of each chapter in a neat organized way. So this means Inside each directory, you will find a .tech file which with only the content part and it will not include any class definition in the preamble section. So basically the class and the preamble uh, section are all defined under this main.tech file and the content part of which supposed to be defined between the begin and the end document environment is distributed in these dot tick files available under each of these directories. And these contents that are being defined in this dot tick file are basically being called within this main dot tick file through appropriate commands and are being placed between the begin document and the end document variable of this main.tech file. So in short, this main.tech file is the master document and we will write the content of each chapter in this chapter.tech file which are available under each chapter directories and they are being called through this main.tech file. Okay, so let's visualize the discussion by opening this main.tech file with techmaker editor. So this main.tech file has been linked to other chapters in terms of which have been included in terms of .tech files could be visualized on the left panel here. So you could think of a tree structure where this main.tech file acts as a root and all the chapters can be thought something like a branches. So to define the same to this uh, LaTeX editor, which is the tech maker, uh, one has to go and click on this options and select the option to define the main.tech file as the master document. So select this option and click on it. Now, as said in the previous video, the space between this class declaration, which is in this case, it's a book class that we are using and the begin document statement, which is over here. Okay, so, so what are the space that I have between this class declaration and this begin document. So those space is called as a preamble section and the space that we have within this begin document and this end document, we call it as content section. So in order to work with this report class, we basically have to define some of the document related commands of EC project package and one could broadly classify those command sets into th three categories. So the first command or the first category of command, we call it as student related commands. And the second one is the guide related commands. And the third one is the esteemed members related commands. Let me show how to use these commands in the template. So first let us look into the student related commands. As you can able to see that each student is designated with some sort of student name command and his or her associated 
uh, USN related command as STU USN. So over here, here the student name A command and the student USN A command definitions are mandatory while the other commands ending with B and C are used based on the number of people who are there in the project group. So it means if there are two people in a group, the next hierarchy should be given to the commands ending with B. And if there are three people, which is the maximum limit of any project group, can use all these commands under the student related command set. So next we'll talk about the guide related commands. Again, there are a set of commands ending with A and ending with B here. The commands that are ending with A is mandatory and are used specifically for internal guides. But for students who do internship can use the set of commands ending with B to define the mentor or the manager under whom you are reporting. So the final set of command, which is the esteemed member related commands. These are some of the commands that are used to acknowledge the delegates. So all these commands definitions can be changed according to your requirement. But any changes that you do to the values of these commands ensure they are being enclosed properly between the curly braces. So let me switch over to the tech maker. So here you could able to see this document related commands, right? And uh, these commands are basically from EC project packages. And these commands in turn automatically defines the certificate page, uh, declaration page, acknowledgement page, and even the title pages. Okay. So say for instance, uh, if in a project there is only one person who is involved, then uh, you have to define only the student related commands ending with letter A. And doing so, this package, the EC project package will automatically frame the declaration and even the acknowledgement pages with I rather than a V word here. Okay. So let me demonstrate it by commenting the student related commands except for the one that is ending with letter A. So I'm just going to comment the student name and USN of B and C. So you could use the shortcut key as control T to comment it and control U to uncomment it. Okay, so these are some of the shortcut keys that we have. So before I click on this uh, quick build, I just want to see the settings that you and me are having the same settings, right? So what I do is that I'll just click on this options and go to this configure tech maker and go to this quick build option and ensure that we initially have this uh, first setting being enabled. And later on, once we get into uh, the bibliographic settings, then we'll switch over to the second option that we have here. But as of now, we'll just hold with the first option and then uh, ensure that you you also have the same similar option as of now and click OK here. Yeah, so now that I've commented out the student B and C and let us see when I click on this quick build, does this EC project package can automatically reframe the uh, words wherever we had V with I as well as ensures that only student name of A and the USN of student A is being reflected on these pages. Okay, so let me click on this quick build and see what happens. Yeah, so in the front page, we have only one student. And uh, later on, if you go back to certificate page, again, you have only one student name being reflected on it. And uh, yeah, as I said, 
in the declaration as well as in the acknowledgement wherever we had v when i had more than uh, two people in a group i had a v letter here and right now since I, it is only one student in this project group it has changed from v to i okay and and all other names have been removed automatically so hope you are clear to make the changes according to your requirement and uh, in the next video i will explain about how to write the content and insert figures and tables into the document along with a way to reference them back into the document so thank you for watching this video